is without without sight. It is without hands or eyes, smelling sense, all of shame where is thy blush. Oh, Hamlet, speak no more. Or should I say her? I'd feel more myself if you did. What are you learning, miss? Why have you already learned it? It has been performed tonight here in Dubrovnik, up in the castle. You hoping for a part? Look, I'll make a deal with you. If you won't confuse me with Hamlet because I spout him, I won't confuse you with his mother because you spout her. Where's the brigadier? Why? Because I have a message for him. From how before, Mr. Chester? From whom else? With you, who'd ever know? The last time you called on the brigadier with a message wasn't so much a message from Alpha, but a message from yourself. Proposing the biggest blackmail in political history, and involving the deaths not only of the Brigadier Smith and myself, but also of Alpha too. How do you survive living with a born killer who must know it's doubtful anyone could ever survive living with you? Alpha is not a born killer. Hasn't the Brigadier ever told you? It's simply that, like all of us, you included, he finds that certain people compel him to act against his better nature at times. I didn't compel him to try to kill me last year. And nor do I believe your sister compelled him to kill her. I called at your hotel. They said the Brigadier usually takes a walk before breakfast, as you do. Why well, did you wait? The message was urgent. You speak to seven. If you won't help me deliver it, Mike Smith. I'll try the Sally Port. The what? The Sally Port. It's a hole in the city walls where the besieged used to dodge out and attack their attackers. Smith takes his early morning dip there. So, uh, why don't you try and attack him? Never come this chance between us twain. Miss Chance comes every time I see you. A very tentative good morning to you. Why are you in Hurst learning Hamlet? Why have you already learned it? Exactly what Hurst said. Where's the brigadier? Why, Miss Love? That's exactly what Hurst said. I've a message for him. You may give it to me. No. Because Alpha Cortez doesn't trust him. I didn't think so. Because you nearly killed him. Then it is a matter from her. But the president of the brigadier has already gone back to London. In that case only, I'm to deal with you. Well, then. Clark? Good, my lord. Now take me a word with you. Lady, the whole history. You're learning it too. Why? Have you had breakfast? No. Have it with me then. Just the two of us? Yes. And in my room. Bring it here. Don't you trust me either? If I could, Smith, which one of us will do the tour? Me? Well, would you? I suppose not. Unless I have my morning tip. For something? 
Yeah, hey, what, uh, what kind of do I can stop there, Hudson? The Hudson 1. Yeah. Hmm? That's exactly right, Hudson 1. I mean, 20 to 7 is hard for the town to get busy on Shakespeare, is it? Oh, I don't know. You and me both? Yeah, hey, just now as I came out of the cloisters, I saw Arthur Dent going over the castle, which they use as a theatre. Yeah, well, he's directing as well as acting. He probably went to brood over the set before morning rehearsal for before. Well, while I was in the cloisters, I saw Charles Disney. You can see the castle in the garden. He's playing, but not directing. And why should he be going up there first? And the door? Well, probably to brood over ex-coppers who go to the Francis and cloister some off the tall door. Yeah. Anyway, why bother about actors? I just thought we'd got enough on our minds with Miss Lark and Elsa without them. Well, see you around, sir, man. Good morning, Arthur. Apart from you. Austin Smith going back to their hotel. A normal beginning to a normal day. The brigadier was with Smith, but he went off first with a young woman. So that is. And at his age? She was Miss Lark. She came from Arthur, you see, with a message for the brigadier. You can't possibly know where she came from or what with. Arthur's car is parked outside the Pele Gate. She arrived in it. That doesn't mean to say that Arthur sent her. Well, she could have gone for the spin and just bumped into the brigadier. A girl like Miss Luck at 6 a.m. You are so terrified you can't see what's developing under your nose. <coughs> what? Tonight, Arthur, it's well known that you intend to stage Hamlet under these walls, right where we are standing. And the part that you have chosen to play is that of the ghost. If our former, our master, Alpha, now, poor Shasta, once thought dead, happens to be in the audience, in convivial company with his former enemy, Brigadier Davidson. Well then, Arthur. And you might find yourself playing the part of the ghost far better than even your kindest critics could have expected. Well done. And what do you suggest, Charlie Boy? Cancel the performance, or cancel Arthur, but mostly cancel the Brigadier. Mm -hmm. I can't cancel the performance. I think too much of you to rob you of your greatest chance. As an actor, you are far too clever to be kept as an understudy. Tonight, Charles, you shall play Hamlet himself up here with me. John would never step down. John will have Adriatic stomach. He will contract it the next time I die from the street. Thank you, Arthur. But what if after inspection of the audience I find that stage fright prevents me from going on? In that case, Charlie Boy, to the names already on the list for cancellations that I must attend to, to which Alpha and the Brigadier add your own. Never before met a man so often so early in the morning. I have never before met a woman so often so early in the morning. The big girl wants to see you. Oh. You carrying messages to him too now? Did you like this, sir? For Alpha and the Brigadier. Yes, she did. And just look what happened to her. Well, uh, aren't you coming up again? No, I have to go and watch the rehearsal. Mark me. My hour is over, son. When I am suffering from torment, he sang, Must render myself up. Must render up myself, what? Not render myself up, but render up myself. He's right, you know, I never noticed. Oh, so? Who has been sitting in my chair? Thank you, Ernst. Now sit down and let me hear how good you are at it. She did? Have a message for her, sir? Yes, now she has one for him. Sit down, sir. Yes. Are we supposed to trust Miss Lark as well as Elk? All we've trusted about Miss Lark is that she cannot be trusted. Sit down, sir. Did she say something about going up to watch the rehearsal? She meant that? My orders. 
You know, giving orders to someone you can't trust. I've got nothing novel about that. Necessity makes strange better. Convenience. What? Convenience. Not necessity. I'm quite aware of the original saying, but in this case it's both. Now, Hurst, Hat 3, scene 4. Go on from eyes without feeling, feeling without sight. Alpha murdered one of our enemies last weekend. Huh? I've never accepted that Alpha has murdered anyone, except for his own side. Feeling without sight, go on from there. He has his fist, doesn't he? Ears and eyes, smelling sand all. I'm shame with that. You live two lines out. Yes, and you're leaving common humanity out. I'm as concerned in dealing with the murder of Peter as you are. The trouble with looking in lumps of common humanity like her is that they're satisfied with tit for tat. Punish Alpha for Peter, you might as well say punish anyone. You know who should be punished, then? Yes. What used to be called Alpha's punch, but not Alpha. Because it wasn't Peter they wanted to cancel, to use one of their favorite words. It was Alpha himself. And Alpha himself sent this last to tell you that? Yes, we're in business. Business? How to liquidation? Oh, now, look, I spent an hour on that scene this morning, and since most of it is the Queen of Denmark talking, I find a constitutional difficulty in getting it under. You can't recall? Oh, I can't say I'm trying, but no. Have you at any time got to that speech you are in there, Once or twice, yes. Oh, uh, rebellious hell, that's it, isn't it? Yeah, that comes after, Blush. Good. Now, as you perceive, you've got something locked in your mind, lacking key of memory. Something you've got out of it on the case, but I'm able to produce at the moment. Well, then, we'll see if this does what it's supposed to. Come along, Hurst. Proclaim no shame with a compulsive eye to give the judge a pinch and a punch for the first of the month. Yeah, it's the 15th. I ain't turned it Game to the chair. Straight his legs. Physical comfort is recommended, also warmth. You know how these lab boys are improving. There's not the least to take as fast as the last we had. Yeah. Hurst. Hello, Baldy. Is that how you refer to me in your private thoughts? What about Smith? The smoothie? Now, Act 3, Scene 4. What comes after smelling sands all? All but a part of one true sense could not so much. Oh, shame, where is thy yes, good, good, good. blush? Rebellious hell. If thou can shoot in a matron... Yes, yes, but never mind the matron, just sleep it off. Somebody you have to choose your question. You've gone now until the end of the day. Oh, oh, fire. Proclaim no shame when the compulsive heart of you is charge. Never make an actor, will you? An actor? Hers. Hmm. I was thinking of Arthur Dent. Little boys who smoke aromatic cheroots shouldn't say hi and speak. Went to rehearsal. Do you always attend rehearsals, Lord Tristan? And do you always attend to your problems by strangling them like the Brigadier's agent last week? Get upstairs.
That is the place to catch the lot. Might have gone off. It isn't loaded. It's an alpha pistol. The sort that might get you out of trouble, but will never get you into it. He only thought Alpha spent you before you took over. Alpha is dead. As you will observe, Alpha is at present having coffee with Brigadier Davis. Why did he send you, Miss Lark? To see if I was welcome. Welcome to take over the bunch again. Mm -hmm. After you nine cents kill me in Madrid. Inadvertently, I saw you. It's certainly not a mile, though. After that, I was by no means sure I had any taste left for the information business. I had a year's convalescence ahead of me in any case, so I came here and hold up. I knew Dan would take over the lunch once he thought I was dead. And I trusted him, but for one thing. Did they? Young Billy is a pusher. A pusher. I also knew that if Dan found out that I was alive, he'd do one of two things. Either he'd get in touch with me and ask when I wanted to take over again, or try to cancel me. To use one of Billy's favorite words. Why should I do either? Why shouldn't I assume that since he hasn't got in touch with me, he wanted to stay and retire? But he has got in touch with me. Simply by sending me up here. You he didn't return the compliment. Why didn't you? Because he hadn't run the bunch my way. I'd always insisted that although we couldn't be a registered business, we could be a reputable one. We were in the information market, that was all. So we bought and sold internationally without politics and without anything to make people like you need to suffer. Because people like you know that no matter how many information men are caught, they will be replaced, either by some state or the purely commercial law of supply and demand. You therefore exercise considerable discretion about whom you decide to catch. Those of us who stick to buying and selling without killing are gently fed and even preserved. Uh, that we are fed with nothing very important doesn't worry us if they're all sells. But those of us, the Denleys who start shooting, you shoot back at. Not if we can help it, but we do um, cancel them yet another usually quite legal way. Undeclared taxable income for us, good one. You were aware then that Dan had allowed your little bunch to start shooting? Yes. In which case he knows that if I wanted to take over the bunch again, I'd have to weed it out. Beginning with him and Dindy. How many are there? Yes, I didn't invite out to here to pump him, but to discuss a temporary merger. Uh, there were uh, 15. I tried to keep it as small as I could. Uh, but of course, that was a year ago. Uh, that must have been nice by now. Thank you. How many are there in your little lot? I knew Dent Teng charge months ago. But I'd no more than strong suspicion that he stopped running the business your way. When were you sure of it? The day I let him know I was alive, the same day your agent Peter was killed in Moscow. You see, the appointment he kept at the Turkish bars where he was strangled was originally my appointment. Yes. You see now. The master was working for Dent? No, he wasn't present. It was Dinley who killed your man, posing as the master. If I killed the Brigadier's man in the state of Alpha, presumably in a steam-filled room so I couldn't see whom I was strangling, uh, why should Alpha complain? Technically, he was the father of the family, so to speak, and he never drew the line of killing within the family circle. Remember your sister. One of the reasons I'm here is because I remember that. The biggest reason. What's the other? Alpha has told me to do whatever the Brigadier wants. Today, the Brigadier wants me to watch a rehearsal and to remember every move you tell the cast to make, particularly those you will make yourself in the part you are to play. You were told to say this to me? No. I was told not to say it under any circumstances. Then what happened? Because two people were responsible for my sister's death, Alpha and Brigadier Davidson. But I have cancelled both. Would you 
join my club? I've already joined it. She's sure to consider Johnny. You want to stop her? My book? Ah, yes, the book. Book? The reason why Brigadier Davidson has to work with Alfred is because every security department in the world has to. Alfred's written a book, telling what he knows that he's a great deal, describing them all. He's used actual names and actual facts. And each country concerned, he sent only the one chapter that concerns it. You feel that? He has succeeded in doing what prime ministers, princes, and presidents have never managed in all history. He has got international cooperation on one thing. What about the domestic chapter? Would have to write about himself, make public confession. Yes, we needn't write about himself. And if the book is published, he'll all be taken in. Would none of you talk about him? There is no such chapter. There is such a chapter? Yes. I dictated it to her myself last week. About this morning, while she was calling on you, Brigadier, I tore it up and burned it. I then threw the novel over the used paper, and when she returned, posted it in front of the publisher. We can trust her then, because she thinks she'd be cutting her own throat if she cut ours. I'll say this. I don't believe even her own late sister trusted Miss Lark. Except, of course, Miss Lark knows what happened to her own late sister when she went double. Quiet. It's simple this. We can only handle death by using someone who he is sure we cannot trust. Miss Lark will betray us in exactly the way I expect. And she'll tell Dent that Alpha has not written such a chapter, that she merely wishes to revenge her sister. It might very well be the truth. Oh, where does that get us? To about the time the car should arrive for rehearsal. Dent interrupted will make her wait. That she'll be able to watch the rehearsal without Dent knowing that she's watching it for us. Mm. Well, if I'm doubtful about her, I have to expect the day will be. What if young Dindley attempts to eliminate his doubt by examining her pleasure and revival? Aren't you making your usual mistake, expecting both sides in the game to play only your way? Dimly performs tonight, and so does Dent. That means they will be here in Dubrovnik overnight. Now, if any bodies are found of their leaving, and something goes wrong, they can be arrested and charged with murder. They are, however, scheduled to leave the country tomorrow evening, so they will plan to cancel the lot of us. Sometime quite close to their known departure, but not before. Isn't that what you do? I'm more concerned with what you expect to do. By permission of Dent, Dindley, Uncle Tom, and Copley, and all of it seems. The exact nature of our action will depend on what Larks tells us about the rehearsal. But I say this, and I'm speaking much with you. Everything will have to be practically beat off, with no blood shed. Well, a drop. No more than a needle might leave. Without seriously harming anyone. Say so, if you understand me. And if your way fails, we try mine. Very permanently harming someone. Say so, if you understand me. Yes, would you mind seeing who that is? He's unconvinced. Next conviction is beside the point when he must compete with mine. I was thinking of Dent. I hope Miss Lark has done better with him than you have with Smith. Exactly what line is that on? 
Well, darling, it may speak out on your further. Good, after that. And then the ghost simply moves from here to beside the cannon. Ah, the cannon. We shall now adjourn for lunch. Afterwards, to the rampart. Could force his soul to his own conceit, that from its workings all his visits wane, tears in his eyes, distraction in his aspect, a broken voice in his function, suiting reforms to his conceit, and all for nothing. Thank you, Baldy. For Hecuba, what's Hecuba to him, or he to Hecuba, that he would be... Do you always go for a swim before lunch, too? No, and I've had my lunch. Where's Finley? Why? Because as soon as you're both here, I'll just swim out again. Be well out. Why? Because if I swim out far enough, the brigadier and his friends, new and old, will be able to see me from the foot of the castle. They will then know that it is safe to go into the castle. Come out now. Charlie Boyle will be along. Doesn't it bother him? Exceedingly. But the sooner the brigadier does what he wants to, the sooner I shall have a chance to know what that is. Now that you can tell me already. No, not quite. Then they will be along. Any minute. Costume alteration. <laughs> he didn't expect to be handed tonight, you know. Did you tell Alpha and the brigadier about that car change? And all my stage moves? All the stage moves I saw. Off you go then. Keep it moving. Oh, right, Miss Larks, don't swim back until I wave. Do anything. No, I can't focus. What you're sitting on is locally referred to as the lover's seat. It's said that even vigorous days gone by, unobliging ladies were dismissed with a single push. It's all right now. We can go ahead. Miss Lark, sounds there? No. Charlie boy, your costume, is it ready? What? Have wardrobe finished it yet? I don't know. I'm seeing them after lunch. See them now. After lunch, wardrobe, like everyone else here, have a siesta. And if I'm performing tonight, so shall I, and I'm not going to get up just to check you. Well, don't check me then. They'll have it done before the performance. Charles. Whatever is going on around us, we must perform a play tonight to draw the attention of the local authorities. I am not going to behave in any way other than one that can take as normal. And normally it is well known before a performance, I spend the afternoon quite low and most of sleep. Go back to the hotel and see us now. Give me a look at it when I come up for lunch. We will have lunch together. In about half an hour. I have sent him back to the hotel to see if it's possible. In view of the probable nature of tonight's audience, I don't want him unsettled. What do you imagine the brigadier is up to? All he said was he wanted to hold some auditions. Audition? Now come on, Hurst, spit it out. I am my father's spirit, etc. I am my father's spirit, doomed. You are such a sort of crowded, cultivated, and critical audience. Come to see the epitome of English theatre craft. Now put something into it, I guess. I am my father's spirit. 
Doomed for a certain term to walk the night. What? Impossible. Smith! Hmm? Uh, get away from that. All right, stay where you are. Smith! Get over there, will you? I am my father's spirit. Yes, the ghost's first considerable speech. You've seen Dent's play in London? No. Imagine you have. I am my father's spirit. Do for a certain time. Really, is that the best you can do? No. The best I imagine Dent can. Oh, well. It'll have to be me. Gentlemen. Shift up, won't you? Situation. We are in a position to weed out the two most toxic stems of a personal punch. Object to pluck the whole bunch. Method. If we can discover from Dent the identity of each member of the bunch, without his knowing that we have, we can put into motion quite internationally authorities who will deal with them, with them all at once, wherever they are, in a concerted operation. Hazard. We'll have failed in our object if Dent is left in a position to warn his agents that they would then go to ground. We have from now until tomorrow morning. What about Dent? He won't know all the identities. If he did, he'd have taken over from Dent long ago. My observation was established that Dent, before any stage performance, retires at about three o'clock in the afternoon, accepting matters, of course. He sleeps until it's time for him to go to the theatre, in tonight's case, this castle. This afternoon, at half past three, Smith, you will pick your way into his hotel room. From theatre publicity, I have noticed that Dent prides himself on dropping off in a twinkling. Half past three will be quite safe. You should find him sleeping soundly. Do your best not to wake him. It shouldn't be at all difficult. Avoid violence. Simply creep up on him and inject him with the chemical we used on her before me. How did you get in? Don't fear the servant. He's invariably incommunicado. Simply ignore any knocks on the door and let you hear a 312 pattern. You will take with you my transistorized recorder. Need I tell you what to do? Dan, you are number one. Dilly is number two. Can you remember who number three is? There is no number three. But there are 15 of you, perhaps more. Yes. If you take it away first... While you are doing that, Smith, Hurst will hear me out in my last line of battle. For a dusk, I will proceed here to the castle and prepare to play the part Dent was to have played. The ghost. I think you understand me now. The ghost wears a helmet. It hides the face and disguises the voice. Thus, when Dimmy plays Hamlet opposite my ghost, he'll be unaware that he's playing opposite not Dent, but me. What about Dent's dresser? Yes. The only man who's present with Dent can tolerate before or during a performance. Hurts, job. But don't pick the lock of his hotel door, Hurts. Simply knock. He was old fashioned chloroform. They told me the dresser was fashioned himself, poor chap. Time up thoroughly, but don't do it. He's quite uninvolved in this and weedy. Nothing Japanese. Just simple restraining knots. Blindfold and gag him, actually. Then join Smith, knocking 312. And dearly? He'll perform the play without knowing what has happened. We should have distributed our information extracted from them. His bunch will be eradicated, and he can do what he pleases until any of several dozen security departments run him down. We shall bother. We shall return to the best of all security conditions, a state of inactive obscurity. If all goes astonishingly well. Precisely. If all doesn't, I have agreed, with great misgiving, to let Alpha dispose of Dent his way. Since that is a domestic way, might you, Alpha, explain it yourself? 
the city walls are closed shortly after dusk. After that, particularly in tonight's full moon, nobody could hope to get onto them unseen. So I shall go up in the afternoon as one tour of the month many. By dusk, I will be conceived in the sentry tower. It isn't the only tower with a door on the lock, but it's the only one that gives me the view I want. That is, to the ramparts of the castle. In particular, to the embrasure where the cannon is. And where death, if anything goes wrong, will perform Act 1, Seed 5. Line of fires are better at this friction than view, even in the dark. Because the embrasure will be lit within. An actor there will be silhouetted. All I have to do now I know the stage action is point of the embrasure and let the whole magazine go. You will use a silencer, of course. I won't be able to miss. And the armor will be on his stage armor. I might even collect dimly, too. No. According to Miss Lars, he won't be crossing the embrasure. Only if whoever plays the ghost. What about Miss Lars? Hers will be the easiest job. It's simply to let Alpha know if our operation has succeeded. In which case, Alpha, need I say, will not shoot. And that he will then be shooting not Dent, but me. She'll go to the castle as a member of the audience, early-ish, taking care not to be seen by Dent, although that won't really matter. You knock on the dressing room door. Three, one, two. I shall open the door enough for her to see me. I shall even say, yes. In that event, she will return to her seat and enjoy the play. If, however, she has not seen me in the dressing room, she will know we have failed, and she will then leave the castle go to Alpha's car and signal that the plan has gone wrong. The car will be parked near the dealer gate, where I will be able to see it from the turret. She will get into the car. She will flip the headlamps on and off twice. And then she will drive off. And then you'll know it's all gone wrong. The dent will be playing the ghost, not the brigadier. So you'll shoot. Act one, scene five. After dent's last performance. Where wilt thou lead me? Speak! I'll go no further. Ah, me. I will. My hour is almost come, but I, to sulfurous and tormenting flames, must render up myself. Alas, poor girl, pity me not, but lend thy serious hearing to what I shall unfold. Speak, I am bound to hear. Start thou to revenge when thou shalt hear. I am thy father's spirit, doomed for a certain term to walk the night. I could a tale unfold whose lightest word would harrow up thy soul. Please thy young blood, make her two eyes like stars start from their fears. Thy knotted and combined locks to part and each particular hair to stand an end like quills upon the platform of Oh, God. And she's found most unnatural murder. <laughs> Peter's murder, deadly Peter's. <laughs> <laughs> murder most foul and investigates, but this was found stranger than that. Blood! Blood, a doctor! A doctor, blood! Come on, sweet prince. 
Well, Miss Larson, everything you told her to, upside down. Well, she did everything I expected of her. There's no one more useful in our sphere than an untrustworthy woman whose mind one knows, intentions one can foretell, and actions one can predict. Including getting out as a shoot as you. Me? Sure, you mean Dindley. Young Dindley, I'll let it in real danger. But there we are. Help clean that up nicely as a domestic matter. And if he ever has to answer for it, he won't be able to blame us. Oh, with Miss Larks on the loose, they all stand to answer the various things at any moment. We simply wait then until she's shot down her to some other little lot, the book is published, and we're all landed on treason charge. Oh, oh, that can't happen. You see, among the connections you got from there was this one. A quite reputable publisher used in the past by not only Dent, but Alpha. Alpha Function. You got the book then? Yes, precisely. And the publisher is now fully aware that the book is Alfred's book, that is, is subject to the official secret act. And Alfred doesn't know this? More to the point, there's no other country knows it. We have them all on the hop. While they go on protecting Alfred, we go on reading <coughs> the book. Your copy, gentlemen. Finding out who's in what, where, for or against. Reliable, for whatever. Would you uh, like us to learn this, too? Uh, it could be even more useful. 